Hey everybody, it's Crystal and I am going to drive to Madison today in this beautiful, beautiful weather. It's really sunshiny, can't you tell? Yeah, sun's in my eyes. Ah, it's like, you know, vampire, can't stand it, the whole light thing. Just kidding. But, um, but I'm going to go to Madison to get my hair did, which is why it is a complete proverbial mess right now. It, it's it's funny. So I want to go and see my friend Miss Ashley Harper, and with Harper's hair, and she's in Madison. So I'm going to go and see what she can do with this, and we are going to have fun with it today. We are going to do a few different things, put some different color in it, and we will see how it turns out. It's going to be a lot of fun. We have we have a plan. We have a plan already, and I. I'm interested in seeing what actually happens to it. So, um, so stick around and we'll see what happens and we'll do a quick little interview with her and talking about beauty and about the importance of self maintenance and self love and self care. Okay. See you guys soon. Bye. Hi, and we're back. more of the internal self-worth and beauty and value and that it's not just something that people do you know or just to quote look good or impress other people outside of them that's not necessarily the case when people do stuff because honestly let's face it about 10 years ago I really didn't do stuff you know either my nails or my hair a whole lot because it wasn't really because I what I care about what other people thought it was more so like me not loving myself to, enough to think that I was deserving of it, so to speak. So me taking actually the time and the money to be able to do this and sit down and, and give myself a little bit of credit and make myself look kind of how I wanted to. Because it, it makes me feel good, I know. And so um, my first question for you, though, is um, what made you get into um, hair and beauty and the beauty field? Every time I have this question, I never really know because I was so young okay but I think that being like mixed feeling like I never fit in with my mom's side mm -hmm. my dad's side or mm -hmm. with the people that I grew up with um, my identity my out my external was a really fun way for me to have a personality or to show who I am I gotcha yeah, yeah. so I w I remember being in like at least third grade probably even younger than that wow. and I was coloring my hair I was cutting you it off. Coloring and cutting it third grade. Purple. I remember it was purple. I was on purple wow. hair. And so I always had that interest. Um <laughs> I, I don't know where it came from, but it was just really fun for me. But I was I was really young. I gotta say I was probably five, maybe six when I started cutting my sister's hair. Oh wow. So pretending to be in a salon cutting her hair yeah. in front of the mirror. And I don't even know if I went to a salon at that point. I don't know where I got this. Wow. idea from but I always watched like what not to wear uh -huh. and I love that and now my latest obsession is the New York Queer Eyes and I'm like oh, oh I just want to be a part of that nice and it's just it's so much more than just me painting your hair mm -hmm. or me transforming you it mm -hmm. it's the connections that I build with everyone because mm -hmm. growing up to even 
in elementary school, I was always someone that people came to to talk about their problems and mm -hmm. things like that. So Oh, that's so cool. That's, yeah, because, I mean, for me, every time, well, ever since I've known you, yeah. um, even seeing the before and after pictures, before I even started coming to you as a client, I would see just, like, these massive transformations. It's like you literally connect with the person's soul, and you pull that out externally, and that is a gift. I mean, you've been, you're, you are super gifted. By the way, she really is. But especially when it comes to color, I mean, you have like this eye for it. And you kind of, and, and what I love is that you also, for your client's sake, you also help, and you, and you can see, you can see like their hair texture and their cut and their shape and, and what, what would happen. And you'll be honest with them too. You'll tell them either that won't work, we can't make that work, but, but here's an alternative. Maybe we can try this, um, but you never like let your client get into something that's too deep, or if it's going to be a little bit more higher maintenance. I know you told me in the past, like some of the colors that we've done, it's a little bit higher maintenance, and I get that, you know. But you always kind of like you know prepare your client that way. So that's right. also a lot of like love and TLC. Um, so that's very appreciated. Um, but also um, from from you know your. Um, your point of view from mm -hmm. sitting behind the chair, standing behind the chair. Um, what have you noticed, like in your clients? How has it helped transform some of your clients as far as their views on themselves? Um, do you see that that, like them fixing their hair and, and doing their hair and doing these transformations, does it really have an effect on them and their personalities and their everyday lives? Can you see that unfold? Yes. Okay. Um, recently, I did one of. A, a dear friend of mine, she has beautiful curly hair, and honestly, I know I've known her. I don't even know how long, but a few couple years at least, and I never saw her hair down. But then once I played with her hair and gave her a nice cut, scalp treatment, things like that, um, mm -hmm. I see I see her hair down. It's so she's beautiful. so proud. Oh my yeah. gosh! So just that mm -hmm. alone is just heartwarming. But um. I work with a lot of moms, which I love. Okay. And I feel like moms are the first people to. And you're a mom yourself. Yeah, I'm so a mom. So and understand. I agree. I do it too. Mm -hmm. um, we will do stuff for everyone else and not ourselves. Mm -hmm. So just doing that, you become happier. Just yeah. Adding things. I'm, I'm, I like things that don't take that long. So just adding those kind of things really does help. Yeah. Make you feel more confident and make you mm -hmm. love yourself more which and then you love other people more yeah it, it really it's it's like you know i've talked a lot about in the past like vibrational energy and things yes. of that nature and so like when you're when your personal vibration is higher a higher level you attract um higher level things or people into your life and it just makes your life go a lot more smoothly I agree, yeah. And so, um, so if you attracted certain people into your life recently that are a higher level, that means, hey, good job, you're on the right path, yay, you're you're doing something right. So continue, keep up the good work. Um, so also, I think um, with the whole back to the self love thing, um, what what I also notice is that um, it takes you from a point of self love also to. Um, getting past fears because yeah. um, I come from a very um, under deep understanding that you know fear and love cannot um, reside in the same space. So whenever you're taking a chance, for example, like some people, like the hair color that we're doing mm -hmm. today, a little bit different for some people, but it's going to yeah. be a lot of fun when we when we end up with it. But um, but a lot of people would be more afraid to take chances. For me, I'm like, it's just hair. It's meant to be played with. It's meant to have fun. You know, it's not a big deal. But for some people, that would be a yeah. very big deal. So um, let's say, let's play pretend that I'm a client that isn't quite as bold as I am. Um, how would you kind of like um, help someone work into that, like possibly getting a, a new color for the first time? Like, how would you ease them into that? I mean, I would start by enhancing what they do love okay then they see that more mm -hmm. and then they're they're happier about that okay um and that can be a bold change it could be something very subtle okay. so i always think that you're going to be happy with something that reflects the mm -hmm. best side of you yeah so i, I love transformations and i love fashion colors but not everybody not everybody should, should have them yeah exactly so okay. I'm, I'm all for the baby steps or i'm mm -hmm. all for just really loading it on and doing 
something that really, really pops for someone. Gotcha. I'm full of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems like, you know, you always, I remember when I first started coming to you back in the day, um, we would do like more basic, um, maybe like a little bit of like auburn or something mm -hmm. like that, like some more basic, but now we're getting to like purples and pinks and like more fashion yeah. color and yeah. stuff. Because I just wanted to have fun with it. Right, and think but, of that, that was kind of probably easing you into mm -hmm. it. If you didn't do that, or if exactly. you haven't ever had that, you probably wouldn't have mm -hmm. chosen mm -hmm. these next few colors, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. And I am thinking about like, the gold red for like, the fall. Like, I always see you in red. red. <laughs> That's what you said, you I always know, see I red. I always thought you had this bright red. 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 And so we're know. doing that this fall, by the way. Like every right. summer, I'm fall, right. so yeah. <laughs> So that's what that's what we're gonna do. But um, but today, because I haven't actually told everyone what to do, so we're gonna do almost like a um, rendition of a cherry blossom tree. Yeah. So we're gonna see if we can do. We're gonna keep the roots the dark brown, and then we're gonna do more pink towards the end. So it's gonna be really a lot of fun. So I'm happy about it. I'm excited. I've been mm -hmm. super excited about it. For exactly. How long have we been planning? It's now? been a few months. So we <laughs> had to actually do some baby steps to get me from the color I was to this one. So we had to kind of let it fade out for a few months, and so that's been that's been interesting to watch. But it, it I think it did well. It behaved. My hair behaved. <laughs> so, but um, but yeah. So um, so for yourself, um, whenever it comes to like outward beauty and stuff, um, is there anything that you would like to share? Like, kind of like some personal tips and tricks that you do for like just like morning like quick maintenance or something like some basic um, hair. Like, if, so say say a mom. Let's say we have moms out there that really don't have a lot of time to do like what are some like necessities that, that you would recommend always either maintenance for the hair or something that you can do for everyday upkeep um try not to shampoo as often refreshing okay. so grabbing like a mister bottle okay like this like that okay yes. all and right that kind of refreshes second day hair mm -hmm. especially if you're curly mm -hmm. and then investing in a strong g which is not that expensive okay. but that kind of helps like when you're going to sleep you put those strong g up okay and then you can go to sleep mm -hmm. and then when you wake up it's literally mist it do whatever you gotta do to refresh it that can take less than five minutes probably two seconds honestly okay, okay. and then enhancing your natural things like my favorite things are my eyebrows mm -hmm. so then i'll do that and i love wearing lip color so yeah. i'll do that so so like like so kind of like either lip stain or lip gloss or something like yeah, that something easy, easy. okay and then um so what is your take on um dry shampoo like also it's like the mister like some people like yeah. really rely do you like dry shampoo i as do well? okay. but i think you need to find the one that you like okay because it, it's going to stick with you for a day or so so okay. you have to really kind of play around but for me, I use it and it adds volume mm -hmm. on my second day hair. Mm -hmm. It kind of refreshes it. So gotcha. I think that's perfect for my mom. I almost always recommend that. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. Great. Yeah. I appreciate it. Um, and so, also, so if you guys are interested, we're going to continue to film. But before I forget, you can find a link to Harper in the description box below. I will link to her website, and you can also book an appointment if you're in the Madison area. I'm sure she would love to do a consult with you and get to know you. I do. I think you have a big policy that if you're doing color for the first time, you have to do a consultation first. Yes. Um, that way she can look at your hair and kind of see what it will and will not do. Because I, I do know one thing that Harper told me early, early on, is that just because you see something online or in a book or a magazine does not mean it can be recreated, because yes. a lot of those are actually photoshopped anyway, mm -hmm. and so it's not actually um, possible to be able to do that, and so um, so you just kind of need to sit down, and, and, and I think any stylist, you know, should do that for a first time, I think so um, and so that way you can kind of see what's going on, so.